very sad episode. Very sad uh, first 10 minutes, right? And it's like, oh, this is the final episode? Oh, let's make you cry instead. Instead of laughing. It's like, why, why are you doing this to me anyway? Um, because I definitely feel a general. Um, how do I say it? I, I definitely feel a general um, sadness, right? I have a hard time with close enough, but like, I am that kind of person. One thing that has been changed for me <laughs> doing a live reaction as one of the views of anime uh, during this last, I guess, one half, two years is that. Yes, that's uh, uh, I actually finish all the animals usually. Because uh, so all the times, like, I'm a kind of character, kind of person, that like sometimes. I watched an anime and I, there's like one episode left. I'm like, I, I don't want to watch that. I want to be, I don't, don't want to be over. <laughs> it's like keep the episode and I put it away somewhere, right? And I'm like, one day I'm gonna watch that. You know, one horrible day. Yeah, it's like uh, I do this sometimes. Or I usually do it sometimes. And same with games too. Where I would beat the game to like 99 percent, and I would like, you no. Know, and, and I one reason when I play a lot of role playing games, I always do all the other bosses for the last extra boss. All the bone bosses first, right? Because I don't want to see the story ending before I have done everything else and so on, right? So anyway, so I got a little melancholy right away here. I was like, oh, it's the last episode. Best anime this season. I don't want it to end, right? I, I feel like, damn it, I will miss that anime so much. I have shit on next season. There are a few animes that I hope people can come across that and so on, look at the news, whatever the news. But I don't think there are going to be as good as anime. I don't think they look nearly as good as anime, right? So I know that this has been like this classic Saturday, super funny, absurdly great comedy anime. I think this is probably, uh, I don't think any comedy anime last year is, is close as anime either. I think this has beaten all last anime as well, right? In comedy. <coughs> Even though I would argue and say that I might say that Hinamatsuru is better than this anime. Uh, because it has comedy. And has answer bits, and answer bits is the sweetest thing ever. So, I think, I think there are, I would say, one of the best. I'm gonna say, that I think Hinamatsuru is like equally good to this anime. I would say, I feel that they're both like 20 out of 20. But anyway, so knowing that, I mean, I coming in here, right? I, I feel a little sad coming in. I'm like, oh, best damn anime. And then it's like 10 minutes of like this pure torture. <laughs> That's how it felt like. It's like, god damn it, anime. No, it's over. And I was like, 10 minutes of Kaguya Slava crying. He was like, oh, I can't handle this, yeah. So the first 10 minutes were really brutal, I feel. From like the, the uh, extra brutal, I, I would argue for. From the meta knowledge of knowing that this is the last episode, right? Um, so, so yeah. But I would definitely believe C2 is coming. I don't think it's announced. But I mean, yeah, this anime has been... The most popular, at least like in, I mean, in commentary on Reddit, I know, I think on like most Twitter, so I think on Reddit, I think on many other forums, this has been by far one of the most popular animes, right? If not now one, several weeks, and like the Chica dance thing, that become like an instant massive meme, right? That so many people did cosplay over and you know, yeah, parody and so on. Um, so I have a hard time seeing that it won't position two. Extremely hard time seeing that, um, but uh, I don't know when, right? So um, <laughs> it feels like this is the last, yeah. And then there was an episode, but yeah, Hinamatsuru is a little other kind of romance. It is more definitely. It's more like a coming to age, so like a yeah, from <laughs> Nita. But I think that it's they are definitely very similar. Like they have great comedy but with the character with really good like character development the character so on they're, they're quite similar uh, but i will say that in the Matsuru's strength over this anime is it has better character development yeah like the especially ansu uh, but also hina they actually, they actually really really have some good character development quite quickly and like, and but not too quickly like a perfectly high paced uh character development so yeah if you haven't seen that anime I would say absolutely. If you like the anime, go watch the Masters well. I think that's the best comedy anime last year, uh, and uh, the only anime, in my opinion, uh, for a year now that's like comparable to this anime. Can you And um, yeah, we will see what happens next season, right? We do some reactions and also reviews of course, other animes. Um, there is one anime that I think looks really funny about that girl that's like a hentai artist's father. That's like a really funny anime. 
This is all the horror man we call me. Uh, which is the awesome, which is similar to tablets. Also looks really funny. So there are gonna be a, some good comedy elements next season, but they are all, I mean, I, I read like chapter one, trailer and so on. They are not even close to much how I used. Like, Hugo Sama, before I did my preview of that, like four months ago, whatever, I read the first chapter and I was like, man, this is making me laugh so much right away. Yeah, like, I was crying and laughter. Episode, chapter one, right away. I'm like, this is a good, this is some good shit, right? Yeah, you just know that. Uh, well, yeah, this one punch man, that's true. Well, one punch man is, yeah, but I think the comedy one punch man is very different. Like, not just because the trailer is uh, is bad, it's just straight up. Yeah. The trailer is bad, first up, right on the video, yeah, the trailer is bad. But I think that Kaguya Sama here, I read a like, great comment about that from the author himself, and he was like, oh, it's yeah, it's similar to rom-coms, right? It's similar to like how much your mother, friends, or whatever, right? And I definitely agree with that. This this anime is very similar to like the the bar, right? Where they have two bars, yeah, both in friends and have mother as well. It's very similar to that, right? The character meets there, talk a lot, they have some weird jokes or so on, right? And there's a kind of weird plot line where someone tricks someone, yeah, or whatever, right? Um, now this does have this anime has a very 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 major plot line, right? About that, but I think it's the after that for the most comparable to how much your mother with like Ted trying to get Robin or whatever. So, yeah, in here is similar, right? Trying to be like, I will make her love me with this plan. So, it's, it's actually very similar to, yeah, to that rom com from the American sitcom things, right? And uh, so, when I look at this anime, I say, all the other animes are gonna come and be somewhat good at least, somewhat relatable in this way. I think more on those like, like the, I don't know, it's called Hattikaya, whatever, yeah. Like this kind of school horror and romance anime that looks like a mix of this, a mix of the quintuplets and a little bit, yeah, we had already, you know, like school comedy anime, yeah. That looks more similar, right, to this anime. Then for example, One Punch Man, which is more like, I don't know. One Punch Man's comedy is very special, yeah, that's a... Uh, <laughs> the driver was awesome. Yeah. No, but One Punch Man is a good comment because One Punch Man is hard to describe. I mean, I love One Punch Man so well. It's an amazing anime. But the comedy, I think, I guess the comedy, I would say it's like a slapstick comedy. It's like the, it's like the essential shonen comedy. It's a, it's a, I think the comedy in like One Punch Man is much more similar to like One Piece or like Naruto or whatever, right? especially One Piece. I think it's, it's much more in that kind of slapstick, quick comedy. Some action comedy, right? It's much more that I think, and that's just a very different comedy. Where Kaguya Sama is more similar to also old animes like uh, Asumanga Dayo or some other classic, like the kind of school comedy anime. School Rumble is somewhat similar to so It's more like that, uh, where you have this, like, you know, kids in a school, or maybe like uh, Genshiken, uh, where you're like college students, very good anime as well, very funny anime. I have all the manga, very good anime. Should, Definitely, I have seen it uh, about uh, like a couple of nerds at like college fraternity where they play video games and so on. There's a lot of like nice jokes and parody. It's very, very funny. Um, but yeah, Kaguya Sama, I think it's uh, probably like the best comedy anime in like the last two years or so. Um, yeah, exactly. One Punch Man is, is too much strictly. It's very not such a life, yeah. Exactly. But, uh, but I'll say it again, yeah. I, 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 when I have time, I hope to do like a longer video where it's talking about the Guya Sama, but it's such a freaking good anime. And uh, I think everyone knows about you should watch Guya Sama. <laughs> but it's like kind of that. But, but I really think so, like Guya Sama, last episode here, it really is absolute. I think since episode one, it has been, the, in my opinion, the obvious best anime this season. And um, I would say this is the best al comedy anime. Um, Exactly. I'm just gonna say that. Exactly. I was just gonna say that. This is best. Yeah, exactly. Two years ago, we had Konasuba. Yeah, two years ago, last uh, winter, two years ago, we had Konasuba. And I would say this is the best uh, comedy anime since Konasuba. Exactly. Exactly. I'm gonna say that. Yeah. Um, that that that's kind of that's kind of like my my strict opinion. Yeah, I think this is a uh, best comedy anime for the last two years. Then just straight up and. Arguably, again, I said it earlier, I think Hina Matsuri is really fantastic though. So I think Hina Matsuri is like equally good or so, but that, is, but not purely in comedy. So this is kind of my point here, like a long point, I guess. But Hina Matsuri, I think, is 
I mean, it was fun. It's arguably even better in Hyggen Sama, but not in comedy, right? Hinamatsuru is more like those episodes of Ansu moments. If you've seen the anime, you know what I'm talking about. Ansu and Hinamatsu. Those are so sweet. You cry. It's so. It's very, very beautiful. Like that. So Hinamatsuru, I think the comedy is weaker than Hyggen Sama. Absolutely weaker. But as a whole story, yeah, it has more, you know, some kind of like hearty feel. I did a video about Hinamatsuru, uh, of course I did but also like a, I did a review of the whole, whole season, check it out, interesting, I think I, I, think I kind of covered it very well there, why Hinamatsuru is so beautiful in a way. So, so anyway, I think that if you look at just comedy aspects, then I think, then I think absolutely, Kaguya Sama is the best anime for the last two years since Konasuba, that was exactly two years ago. Uh, I think that easily, but if you look at like, the whole storyline, I think in the last it might have a little better, but still though, the um, yeah, I don't think any other anime has been close. Like uh, at the year of Konosuba, we had um, no. I, th I think the master is really really funny too, but I think this anime, I think you is a little funnier. I think it's funnier, but I think it lacks a little bit of the kind of development that the master has. That that is strength of the master. But anyway, to quickly iterate, uh, iterate, but quickly go over it. I said like since Konosuba. We had uh, Gamers, which I also found was really funny. Gamers was great. But in a similar vein to the whole that Kaguya Sama is similar to like a sitcom, so is Gamers. It's also very much like an American you know, comedy show, but with even less, I would say, it's even more crazy. So it's kind of like, why is Friends such a popular comedy? Why are people seeing Friends for 20 years now? It's because you love the character and so on and yada yada. The story actually has some. There is enough character development there, there's enough cool moments. And there's a, there's a lot of other comedy shows from the US, right? Which are like, this is really, really, really funny the first time you watch it. And then it goes down a bit, like, because it's like, ah, no, this scene, yeah. It doesn't really have like, that good aging quality. I feel Gamers is more like that, where it's really funny, not as funny on a second rewatch, right? In the Master Sample, it's much, much better than so You could watch it over and over again. Um, so we had Gamers. We had, in my opinion, Sudoku Children. That was a, also a really funny anime, but a relationship anime. Also recommend that. Very similar to actually Kaguya Sama. Uh, yeah, that is actually a very similar anime, uh, Sudoku Children, about uh, several different couples of teenage people that are trying to like date and so on. So it's like ten different couples, and each episode is like three or four couples. And it's like, oh, I love this guy. How can I get him to be a boyfriend? And so on. Yeah, it's a very, very good anime. So anyway, I would say those were the three top comedy animes of the Konosuba season, so 17, and easily Konosuba won, right? And then last year we had, uh, obviously, the Matsuru, and then we had, that thing was one of the best animes too, of course, Asobi, Asobase, that was a really funny anime. <laughs> that anime is really, really funny, and also, I would argue, it's funnier even in the Matsuru, but that anime has absolutely a weakness that it's extremely, extremely funny, so I recommend it to check it out, that anime. Quite somewhat similar to also schoolgirls, so similar, a little bit similar, but it's just very, very, very funny the first time. It's like a shock value comedy anime. It's extremely, extremely funny. I laughed constantly at the anime. I was like tearing up each corner. It's so funny. But if you rewatch really it, it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of funny, but it's like that anime is extremely shock comedy. So it's uh, so then the weaker I feel as a, as a whole storyline. It's like, yeah, it's really, really funny. But then when, when you know the jokes, then it's like, yeah. So, uh, I think those two, and I would say the third best comedy anime last year was Loves of Otaka, right? Wutokoi, uh, which the OVA should be out any moment now, I hope so at least, yeah. And that, I would say those are top three last year. And then of course this year, <laughs> Kaguya Sama is the best one. So uh, yeah, I think it's fair to say, uh, absolutely fair to say, I think Kaguya Sama is the best comedy since Konasuba. And uh, I do love Konasuba though, you know how I have my Konasuba t-shirts and so on, right? I am a, an absurd big fan of Konosuba, right? Uh, which my Konosuba stuff, yeah, I have one over there, but yeah. And uh, I do think Konosuba, so that, so that is interesting, it's Konosuba better than Yamatsuru. Oh, sorry, than in uh, I probably would say so, in my opinion, a little bit, yeah. I probably would say so. If it's a hard, they're not exactly, they're not very equal. Konosuba is also a different kind of comedy, interestingly enough. They're not, in, not really the same kind of comedy genre. Um, but um, I would say I probably laughed out louder at Konosuba. I would say that. I 
maybe the storyline is the weaker. Yeah, Konosuba is also more like it's just absurdly, absurdly funny. But I, but since it was released two years ago, though that season two, which I think is the best one, I have rewatched most Konosuba episodes and like or the scenes at least over and over again over for two years, and I'm still laughing at every aqua scene. <laughs> Straight up, yeah, yeah every aqua, the young and aqua scene, every aqua scene, I laugh still at every time. So. Uh, the jokes for me it never gets old in Conan too, but they are still absurdly funny. But um, yeah, Kaguya Slam, I think that's the conclusion. Best anime uh, for the last two years. A comedy anime. Absolutely. No, I think, I think only Hinamatsuru has a chance to be argued to say it's better than this anime. And that's not in comedy wise, it's like a better storyline wise, I think. So um, yeah, that's another my end review of this anime. My end reaction here, I feel, of, 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 of Kaguya Slam, that it is. Absolutely, the best comedy anime, and the word comedy is important there, the best comedy anime for the last two years, yeah, uh, straight up, absolutely, uh, it's, it's so good, it's, it's so incredibly good, has there been any order, I, I mean like, is there any, even any order of comedy <laughs> this season, that is even remotely close to it, I guess Quintuplet is mostly comedy, horror and comedy, uh, absolutely not as fun as anime, I do laugh a lot at the rest of Kanyo. That's because I'm sick. <laughs> I do laugh a lot of that sick spicy anime. It makes me it makes me happy. Kakagura I guess is somewhat funny. Yeah, it has a lot of co it's mainly comedy. Uh, Mob Psycho has some good jokes, I guess. It has, it has some good jokes. But no, I think that yeah, Kagura Sama. The older anime season hasn't been bad, but in comedy wise the <laughs> Kagura Sama is so much better. Um But yeah, that's it I guess. I went over all the animes, I think they are the best anime since two years ago. And uh, yeah, it's just straight up the best, yeah, best since Conan Suba, best comedy anime for two years. Um, that, that's my end conclusion. Uh, objectively, <laughs> I'm saying that it's the best comedy, but it really is. Um, it really is. So anyway, hope that press the like button, and so on. Uh, I'm gonna watch Fairy Tale and then One Piece of Night. And uh, I, was, I don't want to spoil, but if you're a One Piece fan, I think today is going to be this absurd episode of One Piece. Not as funny as, Kona, as, as, as Kaguya Sama or Kona Suba and so on, but it's going to be a very, very <coughs> epic moment in One Piece thing. So check it out in about, oh, it's like almost 10 hours from now, but yeah, late night for me here. Um, that I recommend, because that's going to be a uh, mind shattering for anyone or what's going to happen in this episode. I believe. So anyway, hope to see you guys later with that. And tomorrow's will be the final episode of Kubitani as well. And then next week, of course, we have new animes. So we have like One Punch Man, he's coming back next week. And a few other animes are coming next week already. Right? So this will be kind of fun as well to check out. So anyway, have a good day, guys. And I'll see you.